Hello friends, this is Dikha Gautam and thank you for joining Every Bond Show. This video I am going to talk about dictionary in CSR general elections. Okay, so now let's get started. So, a dictionary is nothing but it is similar to our real time dictionary. So, what we can do here, we can insert the item as a sequential manner and what we can access easily, we can get easily. Okay, so dictionary class is a data structure. That represents the collections of key and value pairs of data, the key of identical and a key value pair, and it can have at most one value in the dictionary. Okay, so what a value can be associated with many different keys. But the next point we can say here, we cannot insert duplicate key in the dictionary. Okay, and this class is defined in the system dot collections dot generic namespace. So as we know that dictionary is available in uh, generic collections. Okay, so it is available in system dot collections dot generic namespace. So we cannot also insert duplicate value, and we can easily get the value from the dictionary, and it is providing the type safety. But it is it is similar to a hash table in C sharp collection, but here Type safety is there. Okay, so some of the common uh, used method I am going to discuss here in this uh, example. So I am going to work on the simple, very simple example so you can understand easily. Okay, so now move to the example. Before moving to the uh, example, if you till now did not, if you till now didn't subscribe my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel. And don't press to hit this bell icon. Okay, so if you will press this bell icon, you will get notification when I will upload new videos. Okay, friends. So now understand the concept better with the help of example. So I am going to work with dictionary class here. So first of all, we need to create a main method here. So before working on the dictionary class, first of all, we need to insert namespace here. So using System dot collections dot generic. Okay, friends. So it is done. Now after that, we need to create an object of dictionary class. So creating the object, as we know that uh, creating the object of the any class, it is very simple. So here we need to define the type of key and type of value. So here T is nothing but type. And key, 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 and key value here. We need to define the type of key and type of value. Suppose I am inserting the key is type of integer, but value will be the same type. Okay, friends. So create the object is uh, suppose di new and dictionary. After that, I have created this object. So here I have created this object, but I need to insert some value. We need to I need to insert some data in this fiction. So how can I insert here? I am going to discuss two ways. So we can insert data. Suppose here I am providing the key. Suppose in the first, I am taking here suppose y. Depends in the second, I am taking here suppose black. Okay. After that, so. The first method is I am going to do add method. So pi dot add. Suppose I am here inserting the three comma yellow. Okay, friends. So after that, come to the next point. How we can access this value? Okay, so I am going to work with uh, for each loop here. If you have an idea about working with for and for each loop, then please. So watch my video on for and for each loop in C sharp, so you can understand better. Okay, so as you know that it is a key value pair, so we need to define here this so key value pair. Okay, here we need to define the type of key and type of value. So I have in each type key and string type value. Okay, so but uh, this. Okay, not in the bracket, in the bracket. So after that, what I want to suppose I am creating a variable a here in pi. Okay, it is very simple. 
as we are working on uh, any classes so it is very simple but here you need to understand key values here and you need to define the type of key and type of value suppose console dot write line and after that what i want to do here suppose key key should be uh, in zero and value Okay friends, after that a dot key a dot key a is nothing but our variable name that I have created just now we need to also value so a dot value okay after that what I want to do here I want to write console dot read line so before printing this statement I want to input one more statement here. Dictionary. Okay, friends. So it's done. Now press F, uh, press uh, Control Z to rebuild the project and run the class. Okay. So I am going to run this class. My project is will really succeed. Will So after that, I run this class. You can see the output. One, two, three, and value white, black, and yellow. After that, suppose I am going to write uh, clear method. So di dot di dot clear. All the values from the dictionary. So we can see the output here. There is no data. Okay. So instead of di, we can also use uh, remove. So, but remove and clear both are different. So here di dot remove, but here is the method. So we need to define the key here. Okay. So suppose I want to remove the uh, this value key and value two. Okay. So we need to define here. Suppose I want to Delete to be something. After that, run this class. Press F5. See the output. Okay, there is no two key and no black value here. Okay, so uh, next, I am going to show our next method. Suppose control the right line. Here yeah, count. Count is a uh, is a property. So we can use here. But di dot count. Okay, friends. So we can see the output. It will print uh, as p because we have three values here: one, two, and three. Okay. After that, control dot right line di dot. I'm going to work on uh, contains key method. Okay, so contains key here. So we need to define here key. So key is nothing but suppose I am going to discuss I want to first. Okay, so it is my key. So it will return true or false. So here it will return true. Okay, because first is available here. You can see the part white. So then it will print true. True. Okay. So one more method I want to search over here. So contains instead of contains key. Contains value. Contains value. So here I am going to talk about suppose pink, but it is not available. So pink. Pink color is not available here, so it will be false. Okay, so run this again. You can see the output false. Okay. So after that, I already have discussed uh, most of the method here. But one more method I want to discuss here. Suppose console dot write line. We need to um, here. Suppose I am going to suppose di is our object name. In the array I want to define here. Uh, suppose c c is yellow. Okay. So what it will return us to? It will true. Okay. Sorry, it will return yellow. You can see the output and post the match. Yellow. But in case of three, 
available, but tab is not available. Then see the option. It's giving the exception and hunger. So it's because of this uh, key is not available in this. Okay. So suppose stop this and after that suppose I have this tab I am going to two but in the two now I can change the value suppose here something okay now see the output now it is also changed and it is printing two not two but pink okay the first output will be the two for that because pink now add level that's why it is printing two but two now it will print pink because of the two we have pink value okay so this is all about working with dictionary in c sharp general collection so i hope you got some knowledge from this video and if you are tracer and looking for as a tracer level job then don't watch don't forget to watch my uh, programming questions so uh, i already have discussed in my playlist you can see all the latest interview questions here c sharp interview program logical programs okay and the sql server questions also here c sharp collection and uh, in the next upcoming i am going to also upload uh, uh, oops concept video okay thanks so thank you for watching this video for more video please don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and the code of this video is available in this blog I will click, give you the link in the description box. Don't worry, guys. And I hope you will enjoy this video. If you enjoy this video, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and share with your friends also. Thank you, guys, and all the best.